everyone, it's Keyblader007, and we have a new event, Super Challenge Quest for Magic Brooms. So this is an expert level event, as you can see right there. Get Magic Brooms with the Super Challenge Quest. Event period is August 12th to August 23rd, so you get about a week. Event details. Super challenging yet rewarding quests await you in the Super Challenge Quest. Fight your way through and complete objectives for rewards like Magic Brooms, Gems, and more. This time, power, speed, and magic enemies will appear. So bringing along a powerful mix of metals is highly recommended. If you find some quests to be too difficult, try upgrading your keyblade or leveling up your metals. Like it's that easy guys, like it's that easy. So I will say this, these quests are very difficult for probably more free to play than people like me. I only had trouble on the magic one. I think it's cool that giving us magic gems so soon after a gem deal, but only one, two, three brooms for these ridiculous things. That's not even enough for one free Mickey and broom, so that's kind of janky to me. So let's just start it off. It's quick three. A difficult feat. Power. Complete without having to continue. Mirror. Complete within three turns. Power gem. Complete within two turns. The real objective here. Magic broom. Werewolf level 900. Yeah, 900 guys. So not to beat around the bush, but I have to use my proud keyblades to beat these. So I use the counterpoint for the power one because magic beats power. The number above the beast gets smaller as you attack. Once it reaches zero, watch out. Don't let it shred you to pieces or you'll be howling in pain. Blah, blah, blah. And I take Nizzy's copy metal. So it's a bunch of AoE enemies. That means you need AoE attacks, not single target. The wolf has his classic 50 attack, not metals, attacks. That's how many hits you do, like this metal's gonna do a lot of hits. There's always a copter fleet somewhere around. I believe there's one in each one of these. The power one's pretty easy because they're not that high in HP. So there is probably, you know, some way around it for you guys, especially if you have 0 0.2 Kyrie. And that's it. That was pretty easy. And you get a magic broom, a power gem, and a magic mirror. Moving on to speed. A difficult feat. Speed. Complete what happens to continue. Magic mirror. Complete within three turns. Speed gem. Complete within two turns. Magic broom. Wily bandit level 900. So this time I use the Fenrir because that's the specialty keyblade of proud mode for power against green. The number above the monster gets smaller as you attack. Once it reaches zero, watch out. Don't let this conniving crook rob you of your HP. He's also not as difficult. Very similar. He has a 50 above his head like the wolf. 57 health bars. There's a copter fleet. You're allowed to two-turn any of these guys, but I only need to two-turn the snowman, which is the magic one. First of all, let me give a shout out to Sin for doing this screenshot for me. I screwed up and accidentally went right past it before screenshotting it, so thank you. So you get a magic room, speed gem, and a magic mirror. Finally, the hardest one in my opinion, a difficult feat indeed, magic. Complete what I'd have it to continue, a mirror, complete within three turns, magic gem, complete within two turns, magic broom. Huge snowman, level 900. An abominable adversary that lowers your defenses. Keep an eye on your HP and mirror its status enhancements to bring the heat to battle, because it's a snowman. So I have upright Kyrie, reverse Riku with extra, doesn't have guilt yet. So this is my Colosseum build from last month. Just to give you an idea of what it took to take this guy down. And I borrow King's Axel Art EX. So, one thing you'll notice, the magic one does not have any counters above their heads. It's all just raw HP. There's a Copter Fleet, Dark Plant, Camel, Wardrobe, and they all have defense buffs. So with Kyrie, that helps some of their buffs. You could also debuff them like I'm planning on doing and then blowing Nova. Or you can debuff them with like a bell or an illustrated bell and beast type of dealio. It's also not a bad strategy. 
These guys, I have to two turn. I'm not strong enough to one turn them myself. He has way too much health. Maybe if Dark Riku was guilted, it might be a different story, but I'll just never know. That takes care of everyone but Snowy. Back from the dead. Running low on SP here. And the APP saved my ass. Bam. Didn't even eat all my attacks on the second one. But yeah, it took a lot. And you get a magic broom, magic gem, and a magic mirror. It's a lot of magic. So that's it guys. I know this is not the most friendliest challenge and probably a lot of you won't be able to beat it, but do your best. At least try to get the three turn gems because that's still worth it. The brooms, I don't even care about brooms in this game anymore because we don't get enough of them to be relevant. I've only used two and you've seen me use them in an earlier video a long time ago on a high score challenge medal. So I've been just saving them up for something useful. I think if you're going to use them, use them on stuff you can't get in metal pools like high score challenge medals, exclusive stuff that are only limited like WAF or the copy key arts, shit that you can't get again. But that's just my take on it. Alright, peace out till next time guys.